Cafe Networking Podcast promotes successful business experts. I'm Tom Ria, connecting people throughout the world from my podcast studio in Brazil. Joining us today from Dunedin, Florida, is Shay Kent, a passionate author and speaker dedicated to empowering women to live their best lives. Author of She Is You, Unleash the Confident, Successful Woman Within. So, Shay, what is the key to successfully reaching your goals? Hi, the key to successfully reaching your goals is awareness. It is the number one thing to have awareness of yourself, to have awareness of everything you've done in the past and how it's gotten you to where you are right now. And also having the awareness of exactly where it is you want to go so you can take the inspired actions in order to get there. And I know that might sound a little watered down and like silly because most people are like, oh yeah, I know, I know what I did before and I know where I want to go. However, what I've found to be true is that the inner work for a lot of entrepreneurs, for a Mm -hmm. lot of people who are really striving to go forward, isn't quite there yet. And when you can tap into yourself to become truly aware of what's going on within you, you're going to be able to explode and just reach your success so much faster than if you were struggling to do it. Well, in today's world, really, is it the past we know and it's sort of written in granite that you don't change. But the future mm-hmm. changes constantly. We may even know where we want to go. Uh, but mm-hmm. Tomorrow morning can be a whole different story. Exactly, which is why right now is really the only point in time that truly matters. However, when you have the awareness of your previous actions and why you decided to take those actions, becoming aware of the inner programs and your automatic responses to things, only then are you able to change right now in the now, and that's going to create your successful future. And you say the the, the confident, successful woman within So really what you're saying really is to unleash that, just let it go. Exactly, exactly. Um, And in order to let her go and let her out from, you know, within, Mm -hmm. you got to cut the chains. Mm -hmm. And the chains, I I call them nurse ratchets. They're Uh also called limiting beliefs. But nurse ratchet, I don't know if you're familiar with the movie One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. (laughs) Um, She she was the, the villain in that. And... She was a villain because she was a nurse. She was there supposedly to help the uh, people who were there, the patients. What she ended up doing was just hurting these people all of the time. And that's why I call limiting beliefs your nurse ratchets. Because Uh the limiting belief is set up in order to keep you safe. And and that's why it's it's a fallacy. Mm. Because it's not keeping you safe. It's keeping you from reaching your full potential. So when you can become aware of your own limiting beliefs, you can cut those chains and truly step into that confident, successful woman within. It reminds me of a fence. We put up a fence and we think it protects us, but it keeps us within. Exactly. Yeah. So now the book will help us get out? Yes. The book is part story because what I really want to, to let people know that whatever it is that they're going through... Mm -hmm. We all go through stuff. And when one of the biggest awarenesses for myself was hearing other people's stories of all of the stuff that they were going through, and it made my stuff not that important anymore. Mm -hmm. I was able to let go of all the baggage that I was carrying because everybody carries carries it. So you say we we get stuck. So you're saying get unstuck by just eliminating a lot of stuff. Yeah, letting it go. The past is just the past. It doesn't dictate your future. Mm -hmm. The only thing that matters is right now in the now moment when you truly can choose how you're going to respond to something. And that's letting go of those limiting beliefs because the limiting beliefs will automatically run a program within you, which is like a knee jerk reaction, if you will. So if a doctor hits your knee, your, your knee moves. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what limiting beliefs do and your programs Mm -hmm. do. Something triggers you you have a negative response to it, you fall down the rabbit hole. When you become aware something can trigger you, you can stop and go, oh, that's interesting. What's this triggering, huh? And then you get to choose to avoid the rabbit hole or you can choose to go down it if you want. Success is usually the other way, though. Yeah, when I can see that on, on your, your 
website page. Say it's no nonsense. It's not sugar coated. So you're not a huggy kissy hugging everybody saying no things are going to be better. You're really putting you know, out there something that they can you know an action. Yes, exactly. And, and what our platform really is is getting into inspired action, which is different from this massive action that all the gurus are talking about all the time. Mm -hmm. It's actually doing the action steps that are inspired from within you. And when you follow those action steps from your heart, if you want to call it that, um, your intuition, those are what's going to give you the biggest ROI. So rather than doing a bunch of things that you're just going to be busy all the time and it's not really getting you that far, I want you to take actions that, actually move the needle forward and that you're excited to do. Yeah, because when we're stuck, we could be spitting our tires. We could be burning a lot of gas, but we're not getting anywhere. Exactly. And I've been stuck for years. I have experienced it. We're just going around and around and around and you're going, oh my gosh, like what is going on? Oh, okay. I have my awareness. Now I get to change. Now I can have different results. Because yeah. responsibility is taking responsibility and owning your part of your life Mm -hmm. and then deciding to do something different but without having the awareness bit you're never going to see what you have done to take that responsibility even in cases that say somebody rear ends you Mm -hmm. you still played a part in that and it's owning that part of the responsibility so you can therefore change in the future does that make sense that makes a lot of sense which even okay. makes more sense. And again, looking at your site, it's a virtual hub of empowerment and inspiration. So how can our listeners find you? Great question. They can go to beasuccessfulwoman.com. Pick up the book, She Is You, Unleash the Confident Successful God, or Woman Within. Um, I actually have a course that I say, Unleash the Confident Successful Goddess Within, which is how this all started, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the book is She Is You, Unleash the Confident Successful Woman Within. Very good. So thanks again for being here. Thank you so much. And again, for our listeners, it's Shay Kent, first name S-H-A-Y, the last name K-E-N-T. You'll find her at BeSuccessfulWoman.com. You'll also find her on LinkedIn and TikTok. Cafe Networking is brought to us by Focus Semi Market Intelligence, an agricultural market research specialist in Brazil. More information at focusmi.com. Talk to Tom, talk to the world. Thanks for listening. Till the next time here at Cafe and Networking Podcast.